In this video, I'm going to look at a short uh, Python program that is going to use the requests module to uh, connect to an API, going to uh, then uh, bring down some JSON and just uh, access sort of one part of a JSON just to not do anything interesting with it, but just to sort of grab one piece of the JSON. So the code for this can be found at the URL seen here. Um, so let's just run it. It's not going to, it's all just down in the terminal. It's just going to pull out one piece of data, which is one, uh, Nobel prize winner's last name. And just going, so it's just going to say kill me if it runs properly. And did not run properly because I do not have, uh, the import requests. I have it in some virtual environment, but not here. So then uh, let's run pip install requests. And I've, you can make requests without this, with a, a, a different a library that doesn't have to be in that sort of comes down and doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to go through a pip install, but uh, this one is uh, used uh, frequently and has some nice features. And also um, I've had, I was working with somebody who was using a Mac and they were having issues and this requests version sort of finally worked for them. So I want people to have options. All right, so I've just drawn through a pip install. In fact, that um, person had to do, I think, a pip three install on, on his Mac. All right, let's see if it's running now. And there it is, it's saying, kill me. Okay, so I'm going to, what we're going to get from the API is some JSON, so we're importing the JSON module. We're importing the requests module. Um, and uh, if you don't have it, then you'll have to go through a pip install or a pip3 install. Um, here is a nice uh, video um, on the requests uh, module by uh, Neural9. And then here is a, a page uh, on some user agents. So. Uh, you want to uh, pretend to be a particular user agent. So if you just run, uh, if you just use the request library without um, without doing this user agent thing in the header, then it will identify you as sort of a Python program in the in the default user header, and a lot of sites will then block you because you could put the requests if you're you know coding the request you could put it in a loop and sort of have an attack where you just ask for request after request or something so they will sort of simply block you um so you want to sort of add this this user agent uh option um to sort of I don't know, to some extent to fool it i'm not i'm not in the loop, I'm not doing anything bad, but I had to sort of trick it to allow me to do it. Okay. And the particular site that I'm going to is the a Nobel Prize API site. And I'm going to, in particular, select a particular category in a particular year. So I just want to show, like, here is me sort of at that particular site. And so here's the basic site, Nobel API, Nobel Prize org, v1 prize.json. And then we're adding these parameters that I'm interested in the category of physics and the year of 2000. And then I get uh, just the uh, data for that particular prize category in that particular year. And then I just sort of copy that code and put it over into a uh, 
JSON formatter. And let's see, yeah, there it is over there. This page wants to be wider than my screen wants it to be. So here it is. I'm going to use JavaScript, a language, because it's JavaScript object notation. So I'm getting an object. That object has a property called prizes. Prizes is an array. That it's an array of objects. Um, now, I only specifically said one category, one year. So prizes is an array with one element. Um, but that's that's specifically has to do specifically with like my request. But then there again another curly bracket. So it's an array of objects, and those objects have property like year, category, overall motivation, and then finally the, the property we're going to be interested in is, is the laureates, and more than one person can share a given prize. And so laureates uh, is an array. Um, and then an array of objects. And so then these are properties of the, the winners, the laureates. So here is uh, one of the winners, the first winner, the second winner, and the third winner. And I'm going to grab is, if you remember when we ran it, um, produced the surname, the last name, Kilby. And then... Um, just here is that uh, page I have a link to in the code of uh, that talks about the user agents and gives you some examples. So I stole one of the user agents from this page. Okay. All right. So where were we? Okay. So I'm going to uh, we uh, pip install requests. Then um, we imported JSON, we imported requests. I told you about some useful videos and websites. And here I'm setting using sort of a dictionary, a JSON notation or a dictionary notation. I am setting the uh, a header. Uh, I'm creating something called my headers and my params. And um, headers was just the user agent, uh, a property user agent, and then a value. That, that value I stole from a, a website that I have a link to above. And then I have my params, another dictionary with two properties, the category of the prize and the year of the prize. And you can do other things. You can do uh, ranges of years or multiple categories, but I'm trying to keep it simple, just trying to get one prize, one category for one year. Okay, now here's the actual going up to the API. I'm using the requests uh, module. I'm doing a get. It will have other things like uh, post, but we're just doing a simple get. Here is the main URL for the Nobel Prize API. And I'm including uh, my params, which was the category in the year, uh, and using having a sort of a named uh, optional variable here, params, and, uh, and another one, this is where the user agent was within the headers. So I'm sending it, doing a get with the main uh, Web, website here for the URL, the main, the main URL for the API with these parameters. So it's going to uh, construct here, sort of it just sort of concatenates for me uh, the question mark saying the category is physics and the year is uh, 2000. So it's taking my params and creating this, doing the concatenating for me and also doing the user agent stuff for me. Uh, so response gets me the text, and then I'm going to use the JSON module to sort of convert that text uh, into a dictionary. So loads, the S in load stands for string. So response.text is a string that we got from the site and we are interpreting it as JSON. And then here I am 
This is just one big long comment, but I am taking my resulting JSON or that, that dictionary. It had the property that we saw of prizes. That was, that was the only property. Um, prizes was an array or in a Python language, a list. And we set it up such that there was only one. So it's an index of zero. Uh, then that was an object or a dictionary with a, having a property uh, laureates. And that was an array. So uh, I wanted the last one. So it was zero, one, two. So I wanted uh, and the index of two. And then I wanted the last name of the prize winner, which they have as a property surname. And then that's what uh, spit out down here, uh, Kilby for Jack Kilby, who won the Nobel Physics, the, the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2000. So that's what I wanted to show. I had done other videos where I did web requests, but I did not use the request library. I wanted to use it to give uh, people more options and also show how to use the headers and the uh, params rather than doing my own uh, concatenating. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for your attention.